Good afternoon, RV Nation. It's Sunday, July 24th, and I'm heading home from the wind, and it's a really weird day out. I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably can't see that, but it's really just weird and hazy. Normally when something like that happens, something in California is on fire. I don't know how many days we've got left. I know they're ticking away. I'll take a look at that when I get home. We've been taking care of more just business stuff more than anything, and it's been kind of boring, so I haven't been filming that. But this is the motorhome experiment. Check that out. It's 109 at 109. Ah! Now, it's been a, an extremely trying week at Picasso Auto Spa as we're trying to get things ready to transition to the RV. What, what do I mean by trying? Well, we, uh, well, let me explain something first. Picarso, we, we take care of the Rolls-Royce and Limousine fleet at the Wynn and Encore Hotel, so it's not unusual for us to, to detail all 14 Rolls-Royce Phantoms in a single day, half million dollar cars. We're driving expensive cars all day long. Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Porsche. We do a lot of daily drivers as well. We take care of the Hondas and Toyotas and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but when you're detailing the car, the last thing you want anything to happen is an accident of any kind. And this week, we scratched not only one car, but two cars. One happens to be a half million dollar Rolls Royce Phantom. <laughs> And the other was about $150,000 uh, Jaguar convertible. Not a great week. But this too shall pass. It, it will pass, won't it? I hope so. Now because I haven't been recording a whole lot, I figure what I'll do today is I'm gonna play a trip that we did to Benelli Landing, which is out at Lake Mead. It was a great boondocking spot and I'll try to put the information or remember to put the information in the description below the video so that you guys have the uh, have the GPS coordinates and stuff. But it's a beautiful spot out on the Arizona side of Lake Mead. Enjoy Benelli Landing at Lake Mead. Before you go to Benelli Landing, the days. I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay, this is, this is already the 24th. We've got everything down from last week. Everything down. Today is the 24th. 38 days left. <sighs> Nightmare. See you out of Benelli. Paul and Lorena here and we're off to Temple Bar, Arizona for a couple days. We're taking Lorena's cat Ozzy with us for really the first time. We took him once for just like a quick trip to Lake Mead and he hated it. So we're trying to get him to come with us again. And if you can hear him, he's not liking it. There's gonna be Ozzy's gonna stay in there for a little bit so that uh, it's hopefully you get used. Not a carriage, but we try to do like a little cozy spot with him, I mean, so he can feel comfortable. <laughs> Hang in there, buddy. Once we get out of our neighborhood and it gets a little noisier, he is really not gonna be liking it. One of the issues that we may run into is we've had a ton of rain here in the past couple of days. There's a lot of flooding and stuff, so. We don't know if we'll be able to get out to some of the boondocking areas out there because a lot of them are on gravel roads and dirt areas and they may be washed out. So we're gonna just play it by ear, head on out there and see what happens. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Okay, we're just rolling into Boulder City. Boulder City is a cool little town. It's in Southern Nevada and it's one of the only places in Nevada where there's no gaming. There are several cities that do that throughout Nevada, but not very many. Boulder City is one of those. And Boulder City was, the only reason Boulder City exists is because of Hoover Dam. It was started for, as a place for people to live while they were building the dam. And I believe that the no gambling thing was because of that. They didn't want the guys coming into town and drinking and gambling and blowing all their money when it was supposed to be sent back to their families. I don't know that to be true, but that's my understanding of it. And it makes sense. You can always GTS it. Yeah, Google that stuff. So, 
that's my take on Boulder City, but a cute little place. One of our favorite breakfast spots here is the Coffee Cup. We're gonna actually bypass the little downtown area and just head down towards Lake Mead National Recreation Area here in just a second when we make this left. And it's the, one of the best views of the, of the lake is when you come off the top of this hill. So check it out. through this area and you want a great overnight boondocking spot right here at the Hoover Dam Lodge over to our right where you should be able to see the trucks there parked up on the hill is a really nice quiet boondocking spot that uh, is out of the way you don't bother anybody uh, we didn't notice any highway noise at all and uh, it was a great overnight spot when we came out one time so if you're coming through the area Hoover Dam Lodge go in and Spend a couple bucks. Okay, so we just turned off of the main road down to Temple Bar, and we had read something about Bonelli Bay being a good boondocking spot, but as you can see here, the road is extremely narrow the rain is supposed to be done so hopefully we have no more rain for the next couple of days and this will be okay we just have to make sure there's no washed out areas if there's somewhere that's washed out it's gonna be some backing up for me to do could be interesting so we'll see but the road so far looks great it's just gravel but it looks okay but supposedly we had seven miles of this to get down to Lake Mead. If we can endure this road, which doesn't look too bad, we just gotta take our time. I think it's gonna be, the payoff is gonna be absolute gorgeous boondocking area. I mean, it can't be deep. Momentum it, is your point. Well, no. If the front wheels drop off, I want to be able to back up. No, because it will no, be No, yeah, it, it, it can't be deep. I mean, I just common sense tells me it can't be deep. That makes me feel more comfortable. But the sign does have bullet holes in it. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you guys can probably tell by this road that uh, we don't mind a little adventure. Just take your time and everything should be cool. Roads are pretty dry by now, but the view of the lake from over here is just gorgeous very very breathtaking view from over on this side of the lake what do you think I like it. it's cool. again a road like this isn't for everybody but take your time and it's not gonna uh, it's not gonna hurt anything as you guys can see we're getting really close to the water now the path is getting really non-existent. 
and we're probably going to wind up parked around in here somewhere but we're going to go down as far as if we can go down if i have to back up for a little ways we'll uh, back up but for now this uh this is still a decent road depending on your definition of the word decent it is just gorgeous out here it's super serene the helicopters are coming back from grand canyon tours but that'll stop really soon so we won't have to worry about that noise look at it out here so gang we're dropping the jacks and this is going to be our spot for the night it is insane the clouds are amazing check that out over there and yeah this is gonna be home for the night pretty cool we're out here at temple bar we're actually at benelli landing right we're actually at benelli landing and just absolutely gorgeous you guys saw as we pulled up really super serene i can't wait till tonight we get to see the stars but right now we're gonna do some dinner so we're gonna call it a night Thanks for hanging out with us, guys, and we'll uh, see you guys tomorrow when we go out and do some exploring down by the lake. Bye. Bye. Good morning, RV Nation. We are out at Lake Mead National Recreation Area, just getting ready to go for a hike. Lori, you ready for a hike? Ready? ready? I'm waiting. So this area here is on the Arizona side of the Hoover Dam at the Lake Mead National Recreation Area. This has got... And this is known as Bonelli Landing. Now Bonelli Bay was the area we were told was going to be a better area to boondock, but when we got over there, there was no water at all. It was just dry land. I'm sure at one time it had a lot of water there, hence the name Bonelli Bay, but we decided to come out here and as you can see, it is really peaceful, serene, and uh, we got one uh, group of guys up here came up in a uh, pickup truck and they've got their kayaks and they're out on the, on the lake now. You might be able to see the RV back up there in the, in the background. Are you going in? To swim? Yeah, you're gonna go for a swim? Yeah, it's a little bit chilly. It's a little water, bit chilly. Yeah. The water in Lake Mead is extremely chilly this time of the year. It's fed from the Colorado River, which gets water from the Rockies, so the snow melt, fresh snow melt in the spring makes the water extremely cool. Now in the summer, it, it heats up fairly well and it's uh, pretty nice to go swimming in it. Right now, not gonna happen. Did you touch the water? All right, let's check it out. Of course, we might not be able to get very close before we get muddy. No, oh, not too bad. You know what? The water is actually really nice. It is very shallow. Now, if I had brought my suit, maybe, hmm, I don't know. I might have. Get the Freya up there. Now I will admit every now and then you will hear helicopters. Actually a lot you'll hear helicopters out here. We're on the path between Las Vegas, the Hoover Dam, and the west rim of the Grand Canyon where a lot of helicopter tours go. So you will hear them every now and then, but uh, nothing that's too annoying. It's pretty peaceful. Come on, let's walk up towards him. You big chicken? Unfortunately, there's not a lot of hiking to be done out here. It's kind of marshy. Oh, another burrow. Kind of marshy down by the, the lake, so you can't really walk along the water. And there's just not that much as far as areas that you can hike up into like into the mountain or quite a ways away as you can see if we were over closer to the foothills of the mountains then we'd have better options for hiking so i'm gonna head back to the motor home to the little house and get some work done this afternoon yeah you want to watch for snakes we did see some when we were driving out here yesterday so you do want to watch for snakes
standing up here on the roof of the motorhome and yeah there's burrows pretty much everywhere they don't seem to care that we're here look at this view guys it's it's so freaking serene and quiet and gives me too much time to think really i gotta go inside and do some work kind of like hanging up here on the roof though One of the coolest things about being out in one of these remote, serene spots is that you can get a lot of work done, and work still needs to get done. It's not all about play. Although having this as your office is pretty sweet. Check this out. Not bad, right? Okay, gang, we're heading out of Benelli Landing out here at Lake Mead Recreation Area. Uh, we're going to do some hiking over by the lake tomorrow. So we decided that instead of staying out here where there's nothing to do, we're going to go back closer to uh, probably stay overnight at the Hoover Dam Lodge. They've got a great boondocking spot out there. So this is the last that we'll see of Benelli Landing for a while. Oh, but what a more. great, peaceful spot. Yeah, we'll see more of the lake tomorrow. But Benelli Landing, if you're brave enough to come out here and uh, take the this dirt road here out it's a beautiful spot to boondock for a night or two or if you're into that more we really have a hard time with just kicking back and relaxing it's cool the donkeys though the donkeys, the donkeys were cool everywhere. yeah all the time all, all the day. time all day long there were donkeys running around burrows and stuff so that was cool but yeah we're, we're just not great at relaxing if we had a kayak boy it would have been awesome out here we could have went out onto the lake and kayaked and then we would have stayed out here at least two or three days because then we've got stuff to do but we did get our backsplash done and uh the video for that let's let's put that video up here somewhere so we'll have the video for how we did the backsplash up and uh, you can see that and uh, that was fun and as you can see hopefully it's just completely transformed the kitchen area and uh, Lori and I are both really happy with that, so let's get on out of here. We made it back to paved roads. Oh, it feels, it feels so nice to be back on paved roads, doesn't it? That's awesome. That was, uh, that was about 20 miles of dirt road in and out, so yeah, a little brutal. But man, that was uh, that was cool. Glad we did that. When we may do that again. But next time, with a kayak. <laughs> <laughs>